Okay, so welcome to this next video uh, in which we are discussing uh, the uh, phimidylate symphotase inhibitors as anti-cancer chemotherapies. Okay, so if you give one of these drugs 5-fluorouracil, and by the way I should just add that 5-fluorouracil is often abbreviated to 5-FU, okay? Uh, if you give 5-FU or 5-fluoro-2-deoxyuridine, uh, then what it will do is it will go into um, all the cells of the body and it will inhibit this phimidylate symphotase enzyme. And what this will do is it will mean that you cannot produce any phimidylate. And this is the only way that you can produce phimidylate. It's the only way that you can produce thymine nucleotides which you are going to put into DNA. Okay? So if you block this enzyme you're not going to produce any more thymine nucleotides within that cell. So the thymine nucleotides that the cell had in it before it was exposed to this drug are the final ones that it's going to have, basically. So what's going to happen is that very quickly you're going to run out of thymine nucleotides and then you're not going to be able to synthesize any more DNA because DNA needs thymine nucleotides because if you don't have them, thymine is one of the four uh, organic bases that are in DNA. If you don't have any thymine, then you can't synthesize DNA, okay? So when you, um, so let's for example take a cell which is dividing, okay? So for instance a cancer cell because these, these are the cells which are going to be affected by this most of all because really unless you're dividing why do you need to be synthesizing DNA okay so if a cell is dividing in two so it's going from one to two then it needs to copy all of its DNA it needs to copy its genome so the cell has 46 chromosomes in uh, 23 pairs of chromosomes so Let's have the two here, these are the two chromosome ones, so this is one, then the two chromosome twos, and it goes on all the way down to the 23rd pair, which is either XX or XY, so we'll say this person is a female, so we've got two X chromosomes there, okay? Now you need to copy all of these, and all of these are, ex each one of these chromosomes is an extremely long double-stranded piece of DNA, so Let's take one of these chromosomes out, and here, effectively, is the massive great piece of DNA. Now, in order to copy it, what has to happen is you bre break the two strands apart, you break the hydrogen bonds between the two original strands, and then DNA polymerase synthesizes complementary strands to each of these two original ones. Okay? So these two, in red here, these are completely brand new strands which have just been synthesized by uh, DNA polymerase, okay? And this mechanism by which you break the DNA double helix, well, double strand apart and then synthesize complementary strands to both of the two original strands to make two copies of the DNA double helix again, so here are two copies. This is what's known as semi-conservative replication. Okay, and it's called that because if you look at these two new strands, half of each of the um, half of each of the new strands is made up of the old stuff. So that's why it's semi-conservative because at least half of it is conserved from the um, from the original double strand of DNA. Okay, so to synthesize these complementary strands. Roughly a quarter of the orga of the new organic bases that you're going to have to put in here are going to be thymine. If you have no thymine in your cell, you are not going to be able to synthesize these complementary strands. So you cannot copy your genome. And if you can't copy your genome, you can't divide in two. So these drugs, these thymidylate symphotase inhibitors, 5-fluorouracil and 5-fluoro-2-deoxyuridine, they are going to stop um, cell division basically, so cell division stops, okay, and this is the basis of their use as an anti-cancer chemotherapy because they will go into the cancer cells, stop the production of thymine and therefore stop the synthesis of DNA, so stop the cells dividing, so cell division goes out the window, okay, and that's how um, they're going to stop the growth of the tumour. 
In addition, it's also the reason they have um, many side effects, because of course there are cells in the body which physiologically undergo cell division. Okay, so for instance the cells on uh, epithelia uh, often are dividing, the cells that are responsible for the production of your hair are rapidly dividing, and when these uh, stop rapidly dividing because you've been exposed to one of these two drugs, uh, then that can lead to side effects, and one of course, the famous side effect from anti-cancer chemotherapy is that you lose your hair, and that's because of the effect on the uh, cells which are producing your hair. Okay, so it's a very powerful anti-proliferative agent, and that's its basis in anti-cancer chemotherapy.